Good morning, everybody. It's wonderful to be with you um, again today. Uh, we greet you in the name of Jesus. And um, yeah, we just want to encourage you today to stand strong, to keep your heads up, and uh, to keep your focus and your attention on Jesus. Um, last night I had a treat. I watched uh, one, of the, one of the episodes of the series, The Chosen. I can really recommend it. Um, and the whole story is around John 4, where Jesus met the woman at the well. And he said to her, um, if, uh, if you would drink of the water I would give, you will never thirst again. And uh, that's really my prayer for each and every one, that you will drink from, from the fountain of living water uh, more and more and more and more. Um, we are going we, to read our, our text for today. So, uh, yeah, thanks, love. A garden of fountains. Isaiah 58, 11. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Behold, my hand is upon you to bless you and to accomplish all my good purpose. For this hour I have prepared your heart, and in my kindness I will not let you fail. Only relinquish all things into my hands, for I can work freely on only as you release me by complete committal, both of yourself and others. As what was written of old, commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 5. I will be your sustaining strength and my peace shall garrison your mind. Only trust me. All I do is done in love. Adversities are a necessity. They are part of the pattern of life's pilgrimage for every individual and who can escape them. But I say to you that for those who walk in me and for those who are encircled by the intercessory prayers of my children, I will make of the suffering, yes. I will make of the trials a stepping stone to future blessing. My arms are around you, and never have I loved you more. I will make you like a garden of fountains whose streams are fed by the mountain springs. Today, specifically, um, in, our, uh, in our challenge, we are our prayer challenge, we're praying for the police. And we are very um, thankful for um, for our police and uh, what, what they're doing currently. And uh, so we're just going to dedicate them to the Lord today. Um, and uh, God just lay them before His feet. Why don't you bow your, bow your heads and then we just pray together for our, for our SAPS. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness and your kindness. We thank you for your mercies that never ends, Lord. Your mercies are new every morning. And we just wanna we just wanna exclaim this morning that you are good. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness, O oh Lord. So we just come today and we we dedicate our policemen um, to you today, Lord. Um, everybody, all our policemen is really going out of their way uh, to make sure that everybody is safe. Um, and uh, especially in this vulnerable time now, Lord, we just want to bring them and lay them down before you. Lord, we thank you that you are the care for them and that you take care of them. But Holy Spirit, I pray that you will comfort them in this time as well. I pray, Lord, that you will be with them, Lord, that you will, will bless them, Lord, that you will, will, that your spirit will minister to them, Lord, as they, as they, they do work and patrol around, Lord, to make sure the country is, is safe and everything is in order. I pray, Lord, for deep encounters with you, Lord. I pray for a divine intervention uh, with, with our police. Um, I, I pray that, that the police, Lord, will, will, will become such a pillar in our country, Lord, of righteousness and, and of, of, your, of your justice, Lord, um, that you are currently busy breathing into the earth. Uh, we thank you for every policeman and woman going out of their way to, to, um, to work and to make sure everything is in order in our country. And we, we, we bless your name this morning, Jesus. Uh, thank you that you are with us, with our families. We dedicate our families to you this morning as well. And we pray your kingdom, that your kingdom will come, and that your will will be done, Lord, today, here as in heaven. Amen. 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 Okay, great. If you have your elements ready, um, 
Let's, um, let's break the bread together. The night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread. He broke it, gave thanks, said, this is my body broken for you. Um, broken for your sickness. Um, and this is the cup, he took the cup. And he gave thanks, he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. My blood that was poured out, my blood is poured out for your sins. Um, do this in remembrance of me. So let's partake in the bread. our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Be blessed, friends. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Bye.